my channel. I have been missing in action, but I want to explain to you that I had two events happen in the last two weeks that just kept me totally busy. The first one was we went camping for a long weekend in Kentucky with the grandkids, and last week uh, I worked for a major greeting card company, and last week was our changeover week going from Halloween to Christmas, and I worked full-time hours and just did not have time to get a video made. I even skipped doing my October thrift store finds. You know, there's just wasn't enough time and I didn't want to go well into November sharing that. But I do have one thrifted item of the year, my favorite thing I found this year that I'll share with you in the next week or so in my Thanksgiving decor uh, video here coming soon. So I can't wait to share that with you. So excited about that. But what I come to you today is if you're not a big Dollar Tree shopper, I just want to share with you some totally adorable things that are totally worth the trip to go. Now, some of you that are big Dollar Tree shoppers have seen these, know they've been out for a week or so, but if you don't get them in the next week or so, they will be gone and you won't find them at all because they those stores get wiped out quick. But just about seven or eight items. Now, the first thing I want to share with you is not holiday related, but it was just something delicious that we took on our camping trip. And it was some of these pecan shortbread cookies. It's made by Amber Farms. Uh, the only bad thing about them is that there's only 16 in there, so they don't last long. My husband and I can nearly sit down in one sitting and eat them, but they are so good. They're like pecan sandies, if you like those brand cookies. Super good for a dollar. Now on with the holiday stuff. I picked up this little round ornament. I kind of made shiplap and it has a little metal accent on it. That's what made it look worth more than a dollar. They had several different designs. Just too cute not to pick up. Uh, I could stick this in the middle of a wreath or just hang it anywhere. But they have lots of wall decor like this. This was a sled. It's at least 18 inches tall. They had different designs of snowmen and poinsettias and whatever your theme is, you know, going on. Just super cute. You know, it's made out of that pressed cardboard type stuff. So if you hang it outside, it will only usually last one season or if it gets really wet it's probably will be damaged for good it you know it doesn't look as good as it should at the end of the season you know throw it away every year dollar tree keeps stepping up their game on their ornaments every year they just keep getting better and better and this year did not disappoint i only picked up one because i really don't need any more ornaments this was for a diy coming up but i just love this little stag or deer whatever you want to call it now that come in gold and silver and in this white glitter and someone shared last week on a video, uh, they have a three pack at Dollar General for $1.50. So that's really the better buy if you are doing that rustic, you know, tree theme. So just want to share that with you, but a really cute, I tell you, some of those uh, they got lanterns and just if you're into that rustic burlap stag look it is just they, it really great competition for Hobby Lobby all right this year the buffalo plaid is still super hot you see it everywhere I picked up this scarf it is 59 inches long it is just a, a woman or man scarf and you could of course use it as a scarf but i'm thinking a table runner how cute would that be with some white candles or whatever you know lanterns or whatever you're going to do if you're into that buffalo plaid theme nine and a half inches wide perfect size for a table runner how cute with the little yarn fringe picked up these plaid there's not buffalo plaid but it is green and red plaid with some gold through it um, super cute for a dollar each if they get stained up or messed up by the end of you know after christmas i can just throw them away and buy new next year but the back side they're almost i would even consider them to be reversible the back side is solid red this side is the christmas plaid is what i would call that they did have two different kinds of red plaid but the way they were cut and sewn this uh, looked the most even. The other plaid, it was kind of sewn crooked, so keep that in mind, but you might uh, look for your Dollar Tree for those. And the last two things had several little to choose from. It was these little shelf sitters. This little elf and the Santa with the little dangle feet and little boots. Super cute. They had penguins. Um, I can't even remember what a snowman. So cute. You could hang these on your windowsill by your kitchen sink. You know, you can sit them on candlesticks or just anywhere you want to put a little Christmas cheer around the house for two bucks. I mean, really, how cute can you get? And also they had a big collection, of some really nice nutcrackers. They were about eight inches tall. If you want to kind of start a nut 
cracker collection. I just didn't buy any because I've got enough little tchotchkes around the house that I just didn't need them. And last but not least is a Dollar General item that my husband found for me. Bless his heart, he went to three Dollar Generals looking for it. A lady on YouTube last week shared a haul and I just had to have one myself. And it's these little wooden trucks from Dollar General five bucks. I don't know if it's backwards to you or not, but five bucks for this. It's about 12 inches wide, and this seriously looks like something from Hobby Lobby. So I just, I am tickled to death to use that this year. So cute. But that is it, friends. Just wanted to share with you so that you can see if you can find some of those yourself. I'll be on my regular schedule here pretty soon and try to get you a couple videos a week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.